But honey, I'm not handing you a line. Well, it's a secret. And the last time I told you one, you told your mother, and your mother told me that you told her the secret I told you not to tell me. I mean, well, what difference does it make? We can't go to the beach tomorrow, and that's final. I can't tell you why. Oh, no, I haven't been demoted. I'm still a general, like I told you. But honey, it's regulations. But I tell you, it is regulations. You mean it's that Ferguson girl? I saw you making up to her, but you didn't pull any wool over my eyes. All right, go ahead, take her to the beach. But you'll get a nice surprise when you see her in a bathing suit. She's built like a bicycle. I don't care how she's built. I don't care about anybody but you. You know that. It's just that, well, we're sailing for Hawaii tonight. I said we're sailing for Hawaii tonight at 10.30. So you see, honey, that's why I can't take you to the beach tomorrow. Guess I can't take you to the beach for some time to come. I sure will be thinking about you. Hope you miss me a little bit. <laughs> but I tell you, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> but honey, I tell you, I'm sailing for Hawaii on the SS Navajo at 10.30. Oh, thank you. Hawaii, on the SS Navajo, at 10... I'd sure like to be there with you. Hope the fishing is good and you're catching some big ones. Must be pretty cold at night, though. Say, when you wrap up in that old Navajo blanket about 10.30 tonight, and you're sitting there in front of a big blazing fire, I hope you'll remember those balmy nights we spent on the beach in Hawaii. This is one of the latest type aircraft vectors. They are capable of detecting the sound of planes miles away. They can make unwanted sounds or select others at the will of the operator. And yet, no one would compare their efficiency to the thousands of unauthorized ears that are listening everywhere, day and night, for secret military plans. A thoughtless, talkative person can destroy months of careful planning and endanger the security of the nation. For this reason, military personnel and civilian employees must not discuss military instructions, plans, operations, movements, composition, or the location of troops, casualties, morale, equipment, or supply, results of sabotage or of air action or of gunfire, or any other military subject in the presence or hearing of any stranger, either military or civilian. Military personnel, civilian employees of the War Department, and employees of commercial firms engaged in projects for the War Department all share this responsibility in common. Military men must be on their guard, particularly where servicemen congregate, or they are bound to attract persons gathering information relative to the armed forces. Say, that guy must be the champion bowler of your outfit, if he can shoot like he can bowl. Yeah, he's good, all right. They tell me you've got some new anti-aircraft guns that'll knock them out of the sky like they were clay pigeons, right out of the factory. I don't know about that. It's not in my line. Back in a minute. I'm gonna okay. get a drink. The proper way to deal with the situation is to report the matter to the commanding officer without delay. He will take whatever steps are necessary. 
Under no circumstances must a soldier appoint himself a one-man police force. All members of the military service must know that those who seek to impress others with their importance by giving unnecessary information and those who feel that they must tell their friends and families all they know may be a menace to their country and the lives of their comrades. Good morning. Will that be all? Yes. Oh, I must telephone my husband right away. I just got a letter from George. Oh, uh, your son George. How's he doing in the Army? Wonderfully. Oh, his father will be so proud. Listen. I've just been selected with several others of the best men of my company as a special guard to transport a secret piece of military equipment to San Francisco. The train leaves tonight at 6 o'clock. Thank you. Isn't that fine? George is a great boy. Be sure and send him my best wishes. I will. Thank you. Thank you. Wait a minute. Rewrite. Go ahead. Tear down one and two. Hold three for pictures. X-ray paper. Unskilled train wreck. X-ray paper. We don't love. Tonight at six o'clock. Isn't that fine? George! Great as it is, personal tragedy is not the full cost of a careless word. A slip of the tongue may mean the difference between victory and defeat. A person charged with safeguarding secret or confidential matter will exercise every precaution to prevent unauthorized persons from learning of its existence, its whereabouts, or contents. He will disclose the information only to those whose duties absolutely require that they have such information. Merely because a person is a friend or a relative does not entitle one entrusted with safeguarding military information to even mention the subject of that person. It is impossible to overestimate the importance of safeguarding classified military information. The Espionage Act, designed to help safeguard the security of the nation, is strictly enforced. It provides heavy penalties for violations of the regulations for safeguarding military information. Remember, careless acts cannot be undone, nor thoughtless words recalled. Think before you speak. Mm -hmm.